We're going to go to uh, Nathan Ray. Welcome to the program at 646-257-3920. Hi, guys. Um, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Nathan Ray, we should tell people. Where are you ca- calling from specifically in Great Britain? Um, I'm calling from Manchester. Manchester. Okay. Yeah. And so you've yeah. given us an update on on uh, the British elections. Yeah, so um, last time I messaged in, you said you you also wanted an update on the Green Party, the the kind of left party. Please. Well, my question was specifically, could the Greens actually overtake the Liberal Democrats in terms of their share of the vote? No. Okay. (laughs) Not happening. I'll I'll just give you a quick update. What's happening electorally, just the general math, is that you've got the, the, the Labour and the Greens, they're polling neck and neck at the moment depending which poll you read, one's ahead or the other one's ahead. Um, but it means that they're both going to get, um, the, neither of them are going to get enough MPs to form a majority government, which means that they're going to have to go into coalition with another party. Last time around, it was the Liberal Democrats, which was the traditional third party in, um, in the UK. But because of the Scottish referendum vote last year, which I called in a few times, I said that was going to change the face of democracy a little bit in this country. Has kind of come true because now it looks like Labour is going to be basically wiped out in Scotland and only going to return a handful of uh, MPs from Scotland. And the SNP, which is the Scottish National Party, is going to have about the same amount of MPs as the Liberal Democrats in the rest of the UK. So, you know, you've got two large parties, Labour and Conservative, two smaller parties, SNP, which are left, a left-leaning party, but, you know, want independence in Scotland, and the Liberal Democrats, which is a centrist party, goes left and right, depending on which, which, what, what the issue is or which way the wind's blowing. But the, the math works out is neither party, Liberal, Liberal Democrats or SNP, is large enough in themselves, combined with Labour or the Conservatives, even then they still won't get a majority. That's the way the math works out at the moment. So is the Greens going to have to be part of a coalition government in that case? Um, no, because the, the way that, that the constituencies work out in, the, in this country, that would be the same as like the districts uh, in, in the United States. Because the way it works out, the Greens might get 6 7 8% of the vote. They might only get one or maybe two MPs, and, so, and, and that's still not enough to... to so are you saying um, that there's not enough, there's not going to be enough left-center um, uh, MPs to form a, a coalition uh, a majority? Or, or what, I'm not, what, so what's the, what's the takeaway of that? Well, the takeaway is still, and we're still, you know, a month out from the election, it's still too close to call, but... Everybody knows, everybody knows that no party is going to get an outright majority, but at the moment it's still too close to call, even if two parties together can form a coalition uh, to, to achieve that 50%. So they're going to have to either, if the UK, which is the UK Independence Party, which, don't want, you, which want independence from Europe, they're going to probably win a handful of MPs. There's Northern Irish some of the North, Northern Irish parties might be able to get offered something. So there's a couple of MPs. If the Greens maybe get one or two seats, there's going to be... So basically the coalition, if there is a coalition formed, it's not just going to be two parties, it's going to be two parties and then maybe, um, you know, a few of these other smaller parties right. and, and independents and stuff. But when you start getting down to those details, it's just... To, it's, it, it, the, the math just is too messy to, to anybody to make any kind of you know, sensible prediction. When are these elections? Uh, May, 7th of May. Well, uh, it's a fascinating update. Now, I got to say, it's, yes. it's you know, between the, this and the Israeli elections where it's, you know, you've got these type of parliamentary uh, elections. It's so, uh, so different from what we have in this country. And yeah, almost yeah. like it's uh, a little bit jealous, it? frankly. But <laughs> it does make it more interesting. Over in, in America, I heard people of getting like, they've got 55% of the vote, and that was classed as a landslide or yep. something like that. You know, that language doesn't get used in, you know, 55% of the, land, the vote is not a landslide in this country, you know. Uh, so just give you an update on the Green Party, because uh, that's kind of who I've thrown my hat into the ring with at the moment. I'm being selected to be a local councillor in Manchester City. I'm just working within the party at the moment, 
it, it's the party's probably in the position that the UKIP party was in a few election cycles ago, and that the Liberal Democrats were in probably 20 to 30 years ago, in that they've got a large groundswell of support, but it's not being professionalised. You know, the, the, the selection process for candidates isn't you know isn't mature and um and they, they have like the manchester green party have added a thousand members in the last 12 months months but now when they're trying to do campaigning for the election none of those new members well not none but very few of those members are actually turning out to do the on the ground you know activism getting out the vote you know delivering leaflets those kind of things so i would i would probably think that the green party are probably too maybe one or two election cycles away from being professional enough to actually be strategic enough to then give the Liberal Democrats a, a, a run for the money. Interesting. All right. Well, uh, Nathan Ray, thanks so much uh, for calling in. Uh, appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, that's great. And people can follow me on Twitter on Nathan Ray if they want updates for Manchester elections and things like that. So. Great. Uh, anyway, we will, there you go. Uh, Thank you very much.